probably not even that big. If I get an idea in my head, I'm gone. But God's working on me. Because he says obedience in itself isn't enough. You have to be patient. You have to be long-term committed to the goal. Because it might not work out right now. You might have to wait 500 years. But when it's your time, it's your time. Okay. So a couple of takeaways. The first being, don't be weary in well-doing. It might not be your time now, but your time is coming if you're yes. faithful. The second one is to watch and pray. Watch and pray. Because they saw Noah building the ark, but they didn't get the confirmation of why. So if you're watching and praying, you'll be ready yes. when it's time. Mm -hmm. The third is to stop seeing being shut in as a punishment. To stop seeing Christianity as a checklist of yeses and nos, of to do's and not to do's. Because as we saw, it's a protection from punishment that you deserve. And the fourth is to find your sin. Find the one that your heart can't let go of. I, ugh. It says that he carried that in his heart. No one can see your heart except God. What are you carrying in your heart into the new atmosphere? Because is it going to produce life, new life, fresh life, and peace? Or is it going to produce death and destruction? And will we have to start from the beginning again? It starts on an individual basis and then it grows. And it grows. And it grows. But before it can grow, we have to do a self-check. So that's a lot. A lot, a lot. And I really, I know the majority of you are not going to do this, but if you feel like you would like, find it and read it. And ask God to give you the vision and the revelation. Ask him to, how to teach you to build your ark. Again, God, I'm here again at this point, God, where I heard you speak, <coughs> and I heard your voice go out, and I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared, God, because the rain's coming.
Okay. I pray God we got it. I got it. Okay, God, Lord, I just pray for a protection around this body, God. I pray, God, that even the people who heard it and aren't going to change and aren't going to do anything and don't really care, God, I pray that you protect them. Yes, I pray that your blood is over them. God, for the faithful, for the faithful few, God, I pray that you give them strength. I pray that you give them peace. God, most of all, I pray that you bring new life into dead situations. Cover us, God. Cover us, God. I, God, I know we don't deserve your grace. I know I don't deserve your sanctuary. But protect us, God, from the punishment that we don't, that we do deserve. Make us aware, God, our spirits aware, God. Not our naturalized Jesus, but our spiritualized God. Help us see the things that we don't normally see. Let us know that if we're confused and we don't know the way to go, we don't know the decision to make, that we're making it off of our naturalized and not our spiritualized. Lord, you're a revealer. And your revelation is not limited to few, but it's open to all. Yes, it is. So open our eyes. And open our hearts. And open our minds. And do a work in us that starts right now. And carries through for as long as it takes, God, to be made new. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord